All right, we're doing God rays in Blender with volumetrics. Go ahead and add a spotlight to your scene. Go to the light properties. Put the power up to 100,000. Seems like a lot now, but it'll make sense later. Put the color to either blue or orange, because that'll look the most natural. Put the blend to one. Go to the shading tab. Switch it over to your world. Search for a volume scatter mode. Change the background color to black. Connect the volume to volume. Put the density at 0.1 and go back to your standard tab. If you look in rendered mode, you'll have one solid ray, but that's not what you want. So go ahead and rotate it and position it in your scene. Scale it up a bit. Add a camera to your scene. Position it however you want. I prefer to position with walk, which is shift and gray, or shift and tilde, however you want to say it. Now, add a plane to your scene. Hit 7, scale it up quite considerably, um, and subdivide it kind of an absurd number of times. Now, deselect everything and select some random parts of the mesh because we're going to use this basically like a filter for the rays. The way that we're going to do that is we're just going to put this in front of the light to make it so the rays only go through part of the part of the filter, that'll, that'll give you the actual ray effect. Remove these vertices, go ahead and rotate it, scale it down, put it in front of the light. You may want to even duplicate it, just to give you a little bit more of that ray effect. If you look in your camera view, you're going to want to move these out so they're not in your camera view. You might want to change the lights down so it's a thinner array. That's preference at this point. If you look in rendered mode, it looks like rays, but it seems like we're having one solid black streak, so we just want to move these filters, as I called them, around. Potentially even delete one. Just make sure, just tweak it, and eventually you should end up with Something like this. That's how you do it.